is going on, guys? It is Rexy here. Today we are doing the you have my trust. oldest challenge in the book, and that is full ability power Rama. No attack speed allowed. We're up against an Anubis. Very, very fun. Uh, we're going to be going beat stick, of course. We're up against the biggest Anubis main in, in duel at the moment, I would say. my kills. So, the goal of this build is, as you can guess, no attack speed, full ability power. Uh, meaning our ults are gonna chunk a lunk. Well, that's at least the... The idea of the build. <laughs> I do this every once in a while. Um, I love doing this. I enjoy it. I love ability-based Rama. Majority of times, even with my builds, I tend to go, like, half ability-based. I like going transcendence as well. But today we're gonna see just how hard my ults can hit this guy. Watch over us. Bitch. I didn't mean literally. Let's get to it. I'm excited. I'm feeling confident in my snipes today, dude. I can already feel it. I can smell it in the air, as, as Rama would say. Okay. Blue buff is cleared. I don't think I needed to use that many astral arrows, honestly. Wow, you did that faster than I did. My autos do hit quite a bit harder than yours, though. Not that it matters. Straight line juke. Mm. Oh, he missed quite a bit of gold there, which sucks. I play against this guy quite a bit. Familiar with uh, his playstyle, Chad, I'd say. I never miss my Familiar with, to a degree, how he plays, is how he goes for raps, how aggressive he is. Your middle tower is under attack. Shame we can't get those astral arrows. Ah! Damn it! My inner Tarzan was not enough for that, apparently. I don't actually know how worth that was. But watch out, because he hits five there. I don't even think an ult combo would kill him. No, not at that health. He hits another rap. We're kind of done, though. Just running serpent. I never miss my time. I feel like he's just gonna go for a, a blind ult. Who'd have guessed? Taste this arrow. It's what you like to see, baby! That is a fat first blood for us against the Anubis. That's what you like to see. Rama does not have a very good early game. Uh, early to mid. Uh, this mid's okay. But the one thing he does have on his side is a giant peanut... Or, uh, like a... Like a lot of astral arrows uh, to work with in the beginning. And basically that makes it so he can actually clear, like, really quickly. At least in those first few ways. But unfortunately I misused them on the blue buff. Uh, so I didn't get as many as I wanted, like, on the wave, so I wasn't able to use my pressure that well. But Anubis is also, you know, one of the best level 3 clears, if not the best level 3 clear in the game. Besides, like, maybe Hades. Or Neath. You can go for red there, buddy. That's all yours, buckaroo. I don't have beats. So I'ma just chill. No sense in playing aggressive. I got a first blood. Might as well maintain this lead. Just get some vision there. What the? Hello, beautiful. How are you doing today? Talk to the red buff and you guys. Your middle tower is under oh my god, that worked! I hit right there and he didn't see me! <laughs> That's actually gold, what the fuck? I hit like just on the very, very, very corner. I thought he would go back or something. I plan on rotating like back up that way. I was scared because like he hits one rap, I'm dead there, right? So that's actually funny. 
So killing him before he got Bancroft is actually really, really useful because now we're like a little bit ahead. Because since he got Bancroft, like from now on, like it's going to be difficult to fight him like in general, if at all. So like us being able to kill him before he got the Bancroft online just gives us like an even playing field so that we can actually sort of like level out when he starts to get ahead of us because he's obviously going to. Unless I get some seriously lucky out playing or play around a sustain really hard. Which is not common. His ultimate weapon, the four button. My only weakness. Bullshit. Damn you, Anubis. Okay, so. Uh, it's fine, we get his ults. He's probably gonna back off, I'm assuming. I lied. I would suggest running serpentine. Take this arrow. Ah. Nice. We lose nothing off of that baby. You can see it in his eyes, how pissed he is. Oh, yeah, you th yeah, I'm totally gonna- Oh, no, Anubis under my tower, like, half health? Ooh, I'm gonna fall for that. Not like he can heal the full-up Bancrofts or anything. That would be a shame. Your middle tower is under I never miss my time. I'm gonna try and pick up red if possible. Back right after that minion dies so he doesn't know if I actually backed. Pull two transcendence online. Then we can go bulwark and a beat stick, I'm assuming, or I'm guessing maybe the play. Uh, I'm gonna go rotate straight up to that red here. He has buffs to rotate too, based on when he was doing what he was doing last time. Oh god. Out of my way. Watch over us. I never miss my target. Make it more of a challenge. This is rough. That's all we're going for. No, I can't challenge that. It's a shame you can heal the full off every fucking wave. God, did he brace for that or did he just heal? I can't even tell, man. Holy fuck. I don't want to do this. Oh, that was that was fucking scary, dude. That was so scary. Go 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 go. Ah. That was terrifying, man. As much as I really wanted to go in there, like, oh, what are you rotating to? It's so fucking terrifying fighting an Anubis, man. It's so scary. Take this arrow. Surprised he didn't go his normal Typhons uh, build. Like, normally, this guy goes, uh. Well, I still listen to Typhons. In that case, I would have probably went Pestilence, but for now, I'm gonna do the typical strat of going Bulwark into uh, your anti Hotum. I might like to go Toxic, but. Not today. We are not going any attack speed. Count on me. Hope you're having an awesome day, by the way. Had a pretty good day. Uh, it's been a bit of a struggle to get recordings today, I won't lie. We're just gonna chill. Just get some stacks. I never miss my Okay, well, he dies, like, Jesus. That guy was a bum. I'm not sure how that was, like, 
interesting. You really want to, he took so many tower shots, Jesus. I mean, I plan on just backing off immediately after that, but he wanted to trade Aegis for Shell, so I mean, I'm down. It doesn't really matter to me too much. The closer we get to that mid-game stage, the better it is for me. That's all I'm saying. Rama actually loses this matchup pretty hard. Uh, in general. There's very little Rama can do. It's not the best matchup in the world for him, as you can probably imagine. Also, hey, uh, I'm doing a giveaway on my Twitter, or on my Instagram. I forgot to mention this. Uh, I mentioned this in a video yesterday. Um, but if you do want a chance at winning a $200 gift card, or uh, four $200 gift cards, so four, four lucky winners will be announced, um, all you have to do is go ahead and like this post. Uh, follow my Instagram, of course, uh, just for your homie. Uh, and then just leave a comment with an emoji, and the winners will be announced in like a month or two. Or just like a month. I meant like two weeks to a month. Uh, and I will be announcing the winners. Uh, they have a bunch of awesome merch for Into the AM. One of my sponsors. Go ahead and check them out. Anyways, uh, yeah, good luck to everyone. Go ahead and enter that. Uh, link will be in the comments or the description or something. So please be sure to check it out if you want a chance at some free, 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 free stuff. Nothing wrong with free stuff, of course. And I'm trying to promote my Instagram a little bit because I don't post enough on there. So I'm actually trying to post there regularly. So you guys can see what I'm up to on the day to day, you know? Okay, good route. Bolt coming in. 3, 2, 1. Bulwark. That was a fat brace as well. Unfortunately, we don't even have anti heal yet, though. So he's able to just do that. See, if I had any anti heal right there, he would have been screwed. He's not risking it, dude. That's a shame. I choked a little bit there. It's, uh, I mean, I would say it's less of me choking and more of me going for some, some difficult plays. Like, in reality, I could have just backed off there, and it would have been no different. Instead, I went for a riskier play. I don't know if I consider it like, ooh, wow, I choked there. It was such a bad thing. I just missed an auto or two. I'm glad I can actually contest them now, though. I can actually fight him somewhat well, although I still have no anti as you can see, and that engagement had actually posed a bit of an issue. A bit of a threat. Well, the additional protection to the making this a lot easier to work with, rather than instantly dying, no. I never miss my I don't know why this guy is off. Diminishing returns, baby. There's my bulwark proc, though, which sucks. This, guy's, this guy is probably a little familiar with my juking pattern now, though. I, I like to straight line juke against most Anubises. Because it, it, because it can catch them off guard. Okay, there's Steven. It typically, it, like, it, it's just mind games. That's all juking is. It's just getting in the opponent's head. You know, like, when you're close up to Anubis, it's very hard to juke a rap, so you gotta do what you can. Gotta do what you gotta do. I wish I had an accent. Oh god, that was terrible, I'm sorry. I wish I had an accent though, bro. I wish I did. Yes, I have the Kermit accent. Okay, you know, I said I knew this guy's juking pattern, but you know, now he's just making me look bad. Which kind of hurts my feelings. Almost have anti heal online. Uh, and then what do we want to go? If we're going a full power build, like Blood Forge would be the most DPS. Heartseeker would actually be the most amount of power. We could also use Titan Spin though. I'm actually. So ah! My god, I thought he backed! That actually hurt my core, I yelled so hard. That literally shook me to the core, man. I just yelled so extremely hard. I was like, yay, he backed! I rolled, literally, to just go in for the red, because I thought he finished his back. I am more than prepared now. But this fucking guy. What's this? The only anti heal I can get is fuck. I can go Devil, it's a soul eater, but I really don't want to do that. I'd like to pick up red if I can, but I think he just backed. Don't turn a fucking corner or something on me, you prick. I never my he scared me once. 
Nice. Just look at that. I heard him behind me. <laughs> this guy's a fucking ninja. The only other ants I think we can actually go in this build is also just pestilence, so. Or we could get contagion. <laughs> Does Beat Stick not apply with my one? I think he just has so much lifesteal. I never miss my target. Hey, it's arrow. I never miss my target. Holy mother of God, dude. It's a little ridiculous. Anubis is such a fucking easy character, man. Anubis is probably the easiest character in the game. He's definitely up there, at least. Without a doubt. Fuck the meme build, dude. I need Toxic. I'm not gonna have a chance unless I get Toxic. You know? I'll go majority meme build, dude. Oh, don't worry, boys. Arthur's take two shots. Love it. Love scaling high res. Good fucking decision. You guys are the best, man. Flawless decision making from high res. Literally everyone in the dual community complains about the fact that uh, minion scaling, no one asks for it and everyone fucking hates it. Yet high res still just doesn't change anything. No matter how People complain every single day. Every time I go into a dual stream, everyone just complains about the, the minions. Not even just the fire minions, just minions in general. And high res has done nothing to change it. Like, I don't know, I don't understand it. Like, the, the entire community has been complaining about it. Like, they just randomly decided to change, like, a factor that of dual that has been the same for years. Years and years and years and years. For no reason. And then would not listen to any feedback. It's kind of stupid. Mm, toxic will be nice to have. Like I said, Rama does not win this, though. I never miss my card. Shawl and he reset it, I guess. Don't worry, boys. Here comes the full heal. How is this any fun to play against? Oh my, I don't know, man. Like, this is my third time trying to get a recording today. I'm sorry. I'm just playing against such fucking cheese characters. If you guys enjoyed watching the video, though, please be sure to leave the video a like. Do the channel. Make sure you tap that subscribe button for more content like this. I'll see you next video, guys. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.